Right, I don't normally do this, but today I'm talking about, I'm not talking about guitars today, I'm talking about soldering irons, or in particular, solder stations. Now, I've had a few through the years, and I had this uh, solder station from China, really cheap thing, I think it cost 24 or 25 pound on eBay, and I had it for a short while, and after about six, seven months, I realised it was crap, it was garbage, so I thought, I'll, I'll go back to individual soldering irons, which I did, I got myself an Antex 25 watt, I got one from Maplin's a 40 watt and I got another Antex 80 watt. Now the 80 watt was like a welding machine, it had a massive bit on it like that. It was way, way too hot and not what I needed. So that was a waste of money. I think I was £17. Then I got an Antex 25 watt small yellow thing, which I still have, which is great for uh, not too heavy electrical work. Absolutely brilliant. But I got fed up with using soldering iron, so I thought I'll go and get another soldering station. So, some of my friends across the pond there in America on their Hamer fan club site so said, Tell you what you want, circuit specialist, circuit specialist international. We do a CSI Premier 75 watt, which is this one, which I had for a couple of years, and it was brilliant, it was good. And you've got settings there, and you, you, you can program a setting, and you just press the button for the temperature you want. And I had a 300 and a 4 to 400 there for different work, and you alter it up and down and blah blah blah. But it started going on, it went on the blink. So I tested the temperature it was pouring out, and when it was on 300, it wasn't pouring out 300, it was pouring out about 230 Celsius, it wasn't good enough. So I thought I'll need a new, um, here's the blah blah blah, good, nice silicon cable so you can't melt it or burn it, absolutely brilliant. And that's the piece here. And I thought the elements had gone, so I got in touch with him. You got can I get a spare element? No, we don't sell elements, but we sell the whole lot. So I went and got bought my new kit. £19 delivered, I believe it was. Anyway, I plugged it in, it went no better. So I emailed the company. Oh you can recalibrate it, they said. So I had to go, I recalibrated it. Still not much better, still 10-15% down on what it should be. I've used it again yesterday, I tried it yesterday. It wasn't any good, so I think this unit over the years, I've had it a couple of years, it cost me £65 delivered, it's get up with ghosts. So I thought I'd put my losses, I'll sling it, I'll get rid of it, I'll go and buy myself a Hakko FX D, which is the, uh, I believe is the in industry standard, Get the, the, it's Japanese made, it's the proper good gear, it's the recommended one, but it's expensive, it's £115 anyway. While I was dibbing and dabbing about trying to get in touch with Dan Cap, who sell them in England, Dancap, uh, they've been selling hackos for quite a while, but the things with Dancap, they're very old fashioned and they've got a really old fashioned website. And I imagine we're old people, and the website's pretty garbage, to be honest with you. And you get in touch with them, and it's like snail mail, you get an answer about three, four days later. So I thought, oh, I'm fed up with this, I'm not going to bother. So I thought I'd go buy myself one of these cheap Chinese ones again. And it's what exactly what I did. And I've gone and bought one, and it was £32.99 delivered on eBay. And it's a, it says on air, it's a 937D plus up here somewhere. Now there are a couple of companies met these. This is a supposedly a WEP brand, whatever that is or whether they are, I don't know. And this is in the box. The WEP brand, well, I'll show you on air. There's one on air, look, if you can see on the screen. I don't know what resolution we can get. That says HD on there. There's no way that's HD. But yeah, and I'll just stick that on there. 36, I think. 937D. Anyway, a few companies met these. There's a company called Yihua. Y I H U A. They make one. W E P make one. I've got my W E P one. So, been lots of couple of reviews. People saying, we are cheaply made. We are made in China, but they're actually okay. So, I thought, what I've got to lose? £32.99. I've not used it yet. I've tested it. I tested it using the actual uh, soldering iron you get with it. That is the one. Basically, 907F, WEP, you see it there. Basically, it's the same thing as this. It's all ESD safe, electrostatic discharge safe. The problem with this is this has got seven or eight holes in the DIN socket there, whereas the one for this WEP one has only got got five so whether it will work or not on the same note I don't think it will do but what I've decided to do is I'm going to keep the old holder 
and uh, tip cleaner from my uh, Circuit International or whatever it's called. Or is it? Circuit Specialist. Circuit Specialist International CSI. 65 quid. Lasted two years. It's not good enough. I'm doing this video as a follow up to a video I did on this, slagging it off. I got, when I talked to the guy, he says, yeah, you're measuring the tip with a different kind of probe and it's only measuring, it's not measuring the heat properly if you immersed it, blah, 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 this, that and the other. So I actually so, melted some solder, immersed the tip, the measuring tip or the temperature sensor in the solder and it's still 15, 20 degrees or 15, 20% less than it ought to have been. So that's rubbish. So that's going in the bin, 65 quid, rubbish. So I thought I'd buy this one. You get with it some really decent looking tips. Don't look bad at all. What I do is I've got a load of tips anyway. These are good ones. These are pro proper CSI ones, circuit special ones, which are fantastic. I've also got a set of these, which are really good. Uh, these are P-E-R-S-D-E-R, -E Persta, 10 pieces. I'll have a look at that. They're good soldering bits as well. So I thought I've got nothing to lose, 32.99. And, um, I'm going to do, this is basically going to be a type of a, uh, it's not really an unboxing video, I've got it in the boxer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to test it using, because these all fit, so I've got these spare, I'll have spare, what's this, an extra tips and everything, nice chisel tip there, it's a CSI one, so I'm going to throw all that crap, I'm going to keep these bits, this is brand new, uh, whether I sell it or not, I don't know if I could sell that. I've used it once to test it. I'll try and sell that. It's worth about 15 quid, see if I can get that sold. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna unbox this right now on video. I'm just gonna show you the bits I've got. Now this, I won't use that. I'll use this old blue one with the uh, switch tip cleaner there. I won't use that, we can just throw that one away, I think. It'll be all right, I don't really like using the sponges, to be honest with you. I prefer to use the um, abrasive copper. So, there it is, all boxed. That's the box everything came in, I'll close that up. I've already tested this, like I said. And temperature-wise, it actually gives a really, really good temperature. And that's a lot more basic, a lot more simple than the one I'm replacing. Um, so I'm going to get it out of the box here and there. Like I say, this is not an instructional video or anything there. It's not to show you how to use it. All it is, is I'm just going to basically take this out of its box. So blah, 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 all this rubbish. And there you go, that's what it is. There is no preset buttons to press in and you press a button and it heats up. You just turn it left and right and get the temperature you want. And that's it, and there you go, there's the brand, and it's WEP, blah, 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 it says made in China, rated current 1 amp, 1000 milliamps, whichever way you want to look at it. Article number, blah, 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 don't mean anything, SSI 001, model, spot M-O-D-L-A, Modler, WEP 937D+, plus, made in China. I'm not going to take the back off or show you anything, because to be honest, I'm not an electrics guy, uh, I don't do that sort of thing, I don't know what half of it means anyway. I just know you plug this in, you plug in your soldering iron, you turn it on and you set it to the heat you want and you do some soldering. And that basically is all I'm going to be using it for, uh, for electrical guitar work. I'm actually unboxing this today for some work on an electric guitar. So, here we go, very, not a long cable at all. It's only, uh, maybe, I don't think, even think it's a metre long. We'll measure it while we're here. What we've got to lose. Right, for those of you who are non-metric, the Americans, and I actually work in inches because we know what inches are. Oh, it is a metre. Is it a metre? It's nowhere near a metre. But it is a yard. That ain't. Right. From this end to where my fingers are is 34 inches. So what is 34 inches? It's two inch, two inches short of three feet. So it's nowhere near a meter. Uh, 
and 34 inches in centimetres is 87 centimetres. Now if we take that little bit off there, if we measure it from there to there, the whole flex from there to there, let's go with that, because that's the distance you're going to get. There you go, you've got 32 inches, which is two and a half feet, two foot six inches. Not very long at all, but if you're working at close quarters, you're going to be all right, aren't you? So there you go, plug that in, test that. And I already know this works fine. Um, what I am going to do is I'm going to plug it in shortly. So that's all on there. There you go, £32.99, I thought, what have I got to lose? If this lasts me for one year, I'd be, I'd be pretty happy, I suppose. I don't do a lot of soldering. I do do electrical work, but I don't do a great deal of soldering. By rights, these should last me 10 years without a problem. Uh, I'm a bit annoyed that the Circuit Special, Circuit Specialist International or, or Circuit Specialist 75 Watt Premier one I bought only lasted me two years. It's really not good enough. They didn't offer me anything in way of a refund. Um, they just said, no, it's working fine, recalibrate it, blah, 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 blah. Well, recalibrate, reshmalibate, let me tell you something. Two years worth of... I, I say I had it two years. I bet I've only done 15, 20 guitar jobs on that. Really minor guitar work. So it's had no great use. So I won't be going back there. What I will be doing is, when this is... Um, giving up the ghost so to speak i will go and get myself a, ha a hacko fx triple eight d uh, from dancap or wherever i can get one i know dancap are, are are an authorized dealer of hacko japan so it, well, it's probably one of the only places in england where you can get a real hacko and i will go and you know, lay out the 115 120 pound whatever it is and i'll buy one of those but for the time being i'm going to use this and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go and plug it in I'm going to get it set up and uh, I'm going to come back and what I am going to do is I am going to test the heat of the element at the end. I'm going to put, I've got a, uh, I've got a temperature, I've got a multimeter which measures heat as well. So what I am going to do is, oh well, that's a silicon tip, put bang it on it won't melt. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and test the heat of the tip and um, we're going to take it from there so I will be back shortly once it's all set up and I hope someone out there somebody somewhere finds this uh, finds this video useful end of the day we all want a good working soldering station now I've read reviews of these and the Yihau uh, YH YIHAHUA brand and they get mixed reviews but a lot of people have worked used them for a couple of years and it says we're still working absolutely fine so uh might be potluck, one day you get a good one, one day you don't. Pretty much the same with um, cheap guitars. I've had some fantastic cheap guitars, but a lot of people have always said about the same model, absolute rubbish. So, uh, you know, so we'll see where we are, and I will come back with an update later on. So, here we are back, and I know the camera's not very level, but I've set up a little experiment here, and you can see I've got the WEP soldering station set to 300 degrees centigrade. I've got the temperature gauge set on my multimeter, which you can just read there, and um, I've got I've heated up the solder iron, and I'm just going to show without solder, and we'll get it probably up to about 220 degrees centigrade, 225, 223, yeah, 220, about 220 there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get some solder. I'm going to melt some solder on here. Now this solder is not very good, it's lead free solder and I don't like it, I only use it to get rid of it. Um, but what I'm going to do is, I'm going to melt some solder on this tip, take my word for it. In fact, let's see if we can get it on here. And what I'm going to do is, you might be able to see this. Strip of aluminium there, that's just to stop me making a mess, really. And it's not going very well. I'm going to place that there, and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to melt some solder on here, and I'm going to place the probe into the hot solder, and I think then we'll get it pretty much up to temperature. So let's melt some solder. This is just an experiment. 
because the guy at circuit specialist said you're only going to get the proper temperature if you immerse the probe into the solder so I'm going to do that and there you go now you see we're up to 250 260 256 255 is that close enough 260 I don't know you'd have to tell me if it's close enough 270 Is that giving us a true reading? 270 odd, we've got up to 270 there. Maybe with a different solder, we'll get a better reading. Let's clean the tip. Let's go with some good old fashioned, in fact, let's tin this. I'm going to get some leg free solder in a second. There you go. So I've now tinned the tip. Maybe the tips are bad. I don't know. I've got some retinning powder. I'm going to clean. So I'm going to get some good. Now this salt is lead free. This one. And I'm going to melt some of this. Let's see if it makes a difference. That's not lead free, I mean this is leaded, 64 to straight up to 279, 280, 284. So it does make a difference, 285, 286. You know what, I'm quite happy with that. 287, 288, 287. Two ninety, two ninety four, two ninety five, and there you go, two ninety six, two ninety five. And there, friends, is my test of WEP WEP solder station. Thirty two pounds ninety nine off eBay. I think I bought the last one. We got that to 295, 296 degrees with melted solder on there. That, my friends, is better than the Circuit Special. The Circuit Special International one I owned before, or at least it is better now. It's not a conclusive test, but you've just seen me test the heat of the soldered iron with good lead, 6040 lead solder. Don't use your leaded crap, it doesn't heat up right. I heated that up, I got it to about, around about 260 on a 300. This, the stuff we lead in, I got up to 300. Now I took a big breath of that in when I did that, which I really shouldn't have done, but you know, praise the Lord, I'm covered by the blood of Jesus, so I'm gonna be all right, I'm not gonna die. Um, but yes, WEP 937D plus solder station does what it says on the tin. Uh, you might notice by the way I've used the old one of the old tips I got with the CSI and I've used the old um, fitting bracket there there's a new one I didn't want to tarnish the brand new one so there you go um, as far as things are at the moment I can't fault this it does what it says on the tin let's see how it goes on in a couple of months I'm going to get to work now I'm going to work on some guitars but like I say this is a con pretty inconclusive video but you've seen what this does uh, it's out of the box today. I've got a red card knockage at the moment. It's done exactly what I expected. In fact, it's done better than I expected because you don't expect the cheap ones to be any good. But by all accounts, this is pretty good right now. So it's the one I'm sticking to. And that's it. So until I see you again, be good to each other. And I'll talk to you soon.